Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to knit one of these headbands. So this one is not as wide as this one. I love the way this one looks. However, it just looks really funny on me. <laughs> so I made a smaller one, smaller in the width of the band. These are in a tube, so it's double layered. Okay, so you'll need some worsted weight yarn. This is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. This is the color City Beat. Okay, so you'll need a set of double pointed needles, or you can use a long circular needle and work it with the magic loop. This is Knitter's Pride's Cubics, and it is US 9 5.5 millimeter. And you'll need a third needle for the three needle bind off at the end of the tube. You'll also need a tapestry needle, scissors, tape measure. So they're both adult sizes. When it's not stretched, it's about 20 um, inches. So it fits about 21 to 22 inches circumference. So my gauge for four inches is 16 stitches and 17 rows. All right, let's get started. So I've cast on 46 stitches here. For this one, I cast it on 22 stitches. So in this demonstration, I'm going to make the smaller one. Since I'm only casting on 22 stitches, I can really use a, a shorter cable, but I already had this one on here. So I think this one is about 36 or 40 inches. I can't remember, but you could use 24, 36 um, for such a small circumference. So I'm going to go ahead and cast on 22 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to join this circle. To work in the round with such a small circumference, you're going to work it with the magic loop so you're going to divide your stitches in half. I have 22, so um, it doesn't really matter if you're precise or not. Divide it in the middle somewhere. Okay, pull it in onto your cable. So I'm going to separate 11 stitches. And then where you separate it, you want to pull your cable out. You want to slide it to the tip of the needles. So you want to make sure that your stitches are not twisted because we're going to be working in the round. And then this part here, you want to make sure it's on the bottom. And then your tail and working yarn should be on the needle that's further away from you. So now you're going to pull this needle in the back, pull it out just enough so that you can start knitting. So I still have some cable left on this side. Okay, so I'm going to start working into the first stitch here. We're just going to work stockinette stitches, so we're going to knit every stitch. So this is my last stitch on this needle. Now I'm going to tug on the cable until the stitches are on the needle. And then we'll turn it around. Okay, so I'm going to slide the stitches onto this needle. And then I'm going to pull this one out Okay, the one in the back, holding on to the stitches here, leaving some cable. Now I'm going to knit across these stitches.
Okay, so I turned it around. And now I'm going to pull this cable until the stitches are on my needle. This is the beginning of my round. Now, make sure that the wrong side is on the inside so you can see these are knit stitches. And in here we have our purl stitches. So I'm going to pull the back needle and I'm going to continue to knit across this needle. So you're going to keep repeating that. Once you finish this side, you're going to adjust and knit on the other side. So you're going to repeat that for 88 to 90 rounds, depending on your tension and how big you want the circumference. So the number round is going to determine the circumference. Okay, so I worked 88 rows and I went ahead and closed up this end. This was the beginning end of the tube. So I'm going to work a three needle bind off. So what you want to do first is divide your stitches. I have 22 stitches and I want to make sure it matches this side. So to work a three needle bind off, you need a third needle. And what you're going to do is insert your needle in the first stitch here as if to knit, so knit wise. And then you do the same for the one in the back. Insert your needle as if to knit, knit wise. And then you're going to wrap your yarn around your needle and knit both of those stitches together. And then pull both loops off. Now, if you're familiar with binding off or casting off, you need to knit another stitch. So I'm going to insert my needle through the first loop on this needle. And then I'm going to insert my needle through the second loop in the back needle. And they're both worked knit wise. Okay, so knit and pull through both of these loops and then slide them off the needle. Now, you want to take this loop and pass it over this loop to bind off. So using the tip of one of these needles, grab the loop, the first loop, and then pass it over the one you just knitted. Okay. So that's what you'll repeat to the end. Knit wise through the first loop. Knit wise through the second loop. and knit both of these together. Pull them off the needle. Okay, now we're going to pass this loop over this loop. Okay, I'm at the last two stitches. And now I'm done. So I'm leaving quite a bit of yarn so that I can sew the ends together and then weave in the remaining ends. Okay, so I'm going to run the tail through the loop here. Tighten it. 
So now we're going to attach the ends and to get this twisted design here is uh, really simple. So I'm going to grab my tapestry needle. Okay, so you want to bring these two ends together and then fold them in half. Okay, like this. Okay, so you're going to place one into the other, sort of like this, zigzagged around each other. And because I'm using the tail from this end to sew this together, I want to make sure it's on the outside. So now you want to weave all the way through all four layers, okay? Starting with the very first stitch here, I'm just going to insert right through the next layer and then I'm going to catch the end of this layer here and then go through the last layer. You won't see this once you have it completed, so it doesn't really have to be perfect. So going back in the other direction through this layer second layer and I'm just going right through the loops on top third layer and the last layer and if I'm being honest I didn't even pay attention to which stitch I'm on when I'm going back and forth because you really won't see this you just want to make sure it's secure okay going back this direction first layer second layer third layer and the fourth layer so just go back and forth until you reach the end. So what I like to do is tie these together, tie a few knots, so I'm just going to run this through the tube and hide it on the inside of the tube. If you're making one layer, you want to make sure you weave in the ends and secure it. So I'm just going to run it through here and then I'm going to make sure that I'm going in between the two layers. So I'm inside the tube. And then I'm going to just come out here. Okay, and then if you pull it tight, it'll just fall back inside. Okay, so this is the side that we had this seam on. If you turn it around, it hides the seam very well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I'll see you next time.